So, as a single parent, are you parenting out of guilt? You feel guilty that you split up the family and now there's two households. You feel guilty that the kids are going through their own turmoil and emotional grief because their parents have split up. Maybe you feel guilty that the finances aren't as good as they were when you were a double income household. Guilt, guilt, guilt. Is this changing the way you parent your children? And if it is, does that mean that maybe you're more lax with them than you used to be? Maybe you're letting them get away with things that you wouldn't normally let them get away with, but you feel all this guilt and you feel like maybe if you just let them get away with it, things will be easier for them. Maybe they'll like you better than the other parent. Maybe it'll just make things easier. I would suggest you to maybe rethink that strategy. At the end of the day, our kids need structure. They need stability. They need to know that they're loved, which I know you're doing, but they need to know that things are going to be okay and mom and dad are still the same people they were before they got divorced. My life is still very similar. The things that are, were right before are the right things now. The things that were wrong before are still wrong. I know that I'm going to get disciplined if I do something wrong and I know I'm going to be pleasantly rewarded if I do something right within whatever that scheme of right and wrong is for our family. But if you start to change the way you parent out of guilt, and so when you might otherwise have disciplined them for something that you weren't appreciating, and now you stop, you stop disciplining them, what is that saying to the children? What are they able to get away with that before they weren't able to get away with? And what does that do to their level of stability and their level of expectation in terms of what's expected of them? We want to raise our children to be great human beings, and part of doing that means raising them with structure, raising them with rules, teaching them right from wrong. And just because we're going through that divorce and we want to make them feel better, perhaps the way we discipline them isn't the way to go about making them feel better. We can make them feel better in other ways and loving them and doing fun things with them. But again, children need stability, children need rules, children need discipline. And just because we're getting a divorce doesn't mean that stuff goes out the window. So food for thought. Have a great day.